was a quantum of salt. You make my skull. <laughs> I will never say never. These diamonds are forever. Forever your eyes only. Love you. I cannot wait to marry you. XOXO Sarah. That's super sweet. Love the diamonds. <laughs> Making it hard to open. <laughs> Got it. Oh, stop. He's trying to make me cry. That's cool. <laughs> Honey, we are almost there. Can't wait to marry you. Here's a few memories to take with you down the aisle. Love you always, Esco. August 11th, 2012, which we didn't even realize was our first date. <laughs> August 11th, 2012, from our very first date to our first big adventure, oh, the places we've gone and the things we've seen. <laughs> from all the Dodgers, Rams, and Ducks to all the Talica mosh pits. Oh, yeah. <laughs> And all the other festivals and concerts, too. To the tallest mountain tops and lodges. Can't even see anymore. I've always loved you. From the bottom of my heart. And as our family grows, <laughs> oh, bug, bug. <laughs> Along with all the family and friends to come. I'm looking forward to more monkey business, crazy adventures, and most of all, growing old and eating ice cream with you. <laughs> Can't wait to write the next chapter. Hi everyone, thank you for braving the surface of the sun today to celebrate the union of Sarah and Mike. So standing here in front of you both right now, I could not be more proud or happier to perform this ceremony for you both. The famous playwright Tony Kushner wrote a piece about love and marriage that I wanted to share with you. Love is immediate and also aspirational, content and complete in itself and also ambitious. And love, like belief in God, is the location of a deep, unresolvable unknown. There's a part of your love that exists only when you're with one another. And nothing as limited as language can capture that. You'll spend your lives seeking for love's entirety and finding it in glorious fits and starts. Love is constant, but also elusive. Giving to hiding as much as proclaiming Love likes to be loved. Now, Sarah and Mike have prepared their own vows. Once they have finished, we're gonna exchange rings. We're gonna pronounce you married. We're gonna get, we're gonna get some drinks. Uh, we're gonna get in the pool. Yeah, we're getting the pool. Thank you for changing me and my life for the better. Thank you for being my biggest supporter. <laughs> the one who takes care of me and our two girls, each in our own way. I promise to be patient and kind and remember, there is nothing more important than us. We can't kiss yet, can we? <laughs> no, not yet. Not yet. <clears throat> We've known each other for 18 years. That's a long time. Yeah. <laughs> Never on that first day, but I think we're going to randomly place next to each other. <laughs> then I think I'll be standing here with you. There truly isn't a day that goes by that I'm not completely in awe of how breathtakingly beautiful and fiercely astonishing you are. You're the most intuitive, cunning, quick-witted, insightful, 
it off, man, I'm just... <laughs> Honey, I stand here before you, asking you to be my partner, my life calling companion, my wife. I vow to chase your dreams alongside you, to be ever-present, devoted to creating and maintaining the best versions of us. I vow to ensure this partnership remains as fun and rewarding as it did the first day. I vow to love you, and us through, like I was my fun. Yeah. <laughs> Would you guys like to get married or okay, uh, okay. I've always wanted to say this. By the power vested in me by the universal life church of the internet, I now pronounce you man and wife. <laughs>